Well, it's been a season of shocking twists, major deaths, and a whole lot of high-speed action on the CW hit The Flash. Yes, and as the heroes gear up for a showdown in, the, in next week's season finale, it's going to take help from everyone on the team. Take a look. I got hit with the dark matter, okay? I mean, that must have affected me somehow. You're not a metahuman. What you are is a young woman with genius level IQ that we could use in our fight against this new wave of metahumans. Okay. All right, fine. Fine. What's going to happen? Get scared, Mick. And star of The Flash, Tom Cavanaugh, joins us. Tom, I have to say, that mm -hmm. sexy kind of whisper voice, yes. that's, that's I working. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that's that. Can that's you do the <laughs> interview in that voice? What's too? interesting is when you play, on the, on the show, I play the reverse Flash, the, right. yes. the guy that puts on a yellow suit. He's the, for the people who don't know, he's the Lex Luthor of our, of our world. Okay. And um, when you put on that suit, instantly, your voice has to drop three registers. Yes. Uh -huh. so, so I'm talking, you're like, hi, Jackie, hi, Sarah. But if I put on the suit, it's like... Hello, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Just makes you talk. It just drops. It's a Christian Bale, and all of it's like, now exactly. I'm going to talk like this. <laughs> well, yeah. we hear that playing the reverse flash was why you wanted to do this. Yeah, when you get a chance, listen, all apologies to Adam West and the superheroes of yours that put yes. on spandex uh -huh. yeah. and maybe didn't hit the gym as much as they did today. <laughs> this is the day and age when you should. You know, when you when it's a good it's a good era to put on a suit. Like I, I've been saying that Ben Affleck could have been on a donut diet for like <laughs> ten weeks straight, yeah. and then as soon as he like puts on the Batman suit, it's like boom, chest, boom, abs, muscle. It's built in. It's, it's built, built in. in you abs, look great. Right? You know? it's <laughs> and it's artists that painstakingly craft this suit to your body and mold it to your face and take a mold and it, and it fits you perfectly. Yeah. And it's. It's a very, very cool thing to do. Well, this show, too, I mean, it's a lot for fans to keep up with because it takes many twists and turns. But as an actor, I have to imagine it's really fun to play a comic book uh, character because you never know where they're going to take you. It right. keeps you on your toes. Like, how much do you know ahead of time? Um, you, we do know what is happening. What's nice about doing a comic book show is there's mythology. There's decades of mythology. Right. So they have a lot, lot of things that they can pull from. Audience is generally up on it. But we have twists and turns that people don't see coming. On our show, I can offer you the biggest twist, yeah. if you'd like to hear it. Yes, definitely. On, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to say this, but no, on our ahead. show, in the season finale, we killed Jon Snow. Come on. True story. Stop it. Yep. No. Yeah, and then he comes back Wrong in season show, three. Tom. He comes back in season three <laughs> like, as a metahuman. The, the Game of Thrones fans are not going to fall for that. Uh, not happening. We're doing a Game of Thrones crossover. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Yeah. And there's the yeah, secret. That's what it is. Now right? it's that, out. You heard that here first. Game, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So, okay, you've been a part of a lot of hit shows. We love you from all of them. But now, I think. You know, being a part of a comic book show, what's yep. it like? This is a whole different type of fan. Different kinds of fans, right? Is. Well, you know, I, uh, I, I don't think that I, uh, you know, I knew something about that world, but I didn't profess to be that knowledgeable about it. And when I went in, I thought it would be a lot more off-center, a little more rabid than what I expected. What I didn't expect, the way it's been for us, extremely warm mm. and extremely welcoming. And this is what I didn't expect. I, I realize now, now that I'm into it, that what we're doing is helping populate and make popular something that is very dear to them, their brand. Yeah. And so they are pleased about that and happy. It's not, you know, it's not the kind of, I thought it'd be a little bit intense and crazy. Yeah. And right. it's, it's not, I mean, we have, occasionally we have that. Yes. Occasionally you have me racing <laughs> people. That's with every show. Behind, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Racing people, like challenging me to races behind hotels. But apart from that. <laughs> Hello, wait been, a minute. Yeah, what? I was at Comic-Con. Comic <laughs> Comic-Con the first year, I, was, I laid down the challenge that anybody who wanted to race me behind the Manchester Hyatt in San Diego, the Comic-Con, <laughs> could. Do you and have this did on it. video? Too. Did you win? Yeah, because let me just tell you that that demographic <laughs> that I'm racing there, they weren't built for speed at 9 o'clock in the morning. Plus, other thing, they're wearing capes, yes. right? And so, easy runway, easy runway for me. We're going to stop that challenge for now, but it's been enjoyable. And they've been, they've been, the fans have been amazing. amazing. Yeah, they like, really have been. Can we talk a little bit about your podcast, though, Please, with Michael Ian e. Black? Yes, yeah. tell us how this started. Okay, so Michael Ian e. Black uh, and I do a podcast called Mike and Tom eat snacks, mates. We're in <laughs> Mike and Tom eat snacks. Right. Um, we did it because we wanted to work with each other every week, and so we thought, well, we could do a podcast. And then we th thought, well, but what's the subject? What are we good at? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a lot of action. <laughs> and so Mike and Tom eat snacks. We're in every week we operate by the purse system. We pick a snack, we eat a snack, we rate a snack. Okay. And then it's, uh, it's on uh, iTunes and Nerdist, and uh, you tune in. And a lot of times it's... Um, 
a little off color, yeah. okay. a little R rated, but all in the all in the name of furthering the snack game. I'm gonna off start color and R rated with snacks. Yeah, yeah what I could like be better it. than that? I Interesting. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, be sure to catch the season finale of The Flash next Tuesday at 8 p.m. on CW. Tom, thank, thank you, you so much. Real pleasure. Thank, thank you for having me. All right.